How much do you know about the instrument that you love to play? I am Mr B and this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about boosting your immune system. Playing a musical instrument like a ukulele helps us lower our stress levels and can even help our bodies fight diseases. Both listening to and playing music can calm our nerves and make us feel more positive about life, helping us stay relaxed and mentally healthy. One effect of this is that playing a musical instrument regularly can actually help enhance the body's immune system, making you more resilient to coughs and colds and diseases. This might sound hard to believe, but it is widely accepted amongst scientists that as music helps us relax and take off stress, this allows our bodies to be less tired and more alert to incoming threats, and so over time our immune systems grow stronger as we enjoy more music in our lives. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about long neck ukuleles. An interesting and relatively widespread variation to the standard types of ukulele is the long neck soprano ukulele. The idea of these long neck models is to offer the extra frets and wider fret spaces of a concert or tenor ukulele while still offering the lighter tonal sounds of the soprano. So a soprano ukulele normally only has 12 frets, but a long neck soprano ukulele can have up to 18 frets, which is the same as a lot of concert or tenor ukuleles. You can also buy long neck concert ukuleles with up to 20 frets. Some players enjoy the extra versatility of the long neck soprano, and some players prefer the standard ukulele types, but one of the joys of playing the ukulele is the wide variety of makes and models out there, and finding out for yourself what style of instrument you enjoy the most. Let me know in the comments which type of ukulele you enjoy playing. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about tuning with a low G. Some advanced ukulele players like to tune their ukuleles differently using a low G instead of a middle G. The other three strings remain the same but the G string is tuned an octave lower. In the image you can see how the G is normally higher than the C and the E and lower than the A. And you can also see the alternate low G which is a fourth lower than the C which is middle C on a piano. By tuning it this way, the player can add five extra notes to the lower register of the ukulele, which increases the range of the music that can be played. This is particularly popular with larger ukuleles like a tenor, which suits the deeper range of notes created by the low G. However, a lot of players still prefer the standard ukulele tuning with a lot of pieces, and some players have different ukuleles tuned in different ways for different occasions, which allows them to enjoy the best of both worlds. A quick technical point, you can't just retune a standard G string down an octave, and you do need to buy a specialised low G string if you wish to do this. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about banjoleles. If you want something completely different in the world of ukuleles, how about trying a banjo ukulele or a banjolele as it is commonly known as. This combines the size and sound of a banjo body with the length and strings of a ukulele. A banjo is normally five strings, but a banjo lele is four strings, which are tuned the same way as a ukulele to G, C, E and A. This couples the larger and distinct sounds of a banjo with the playing style of the ukulele. The banjo lele was first introduced in the early 20th century and was popularised in the 1930s by George Formby. For anyone who wants a strong and distinct sound, but something a little different and unusual, the banjo lele is a fun and interesting variation on the ukulele as well as being cheaper and lighter than a full banjo. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about Buster Keaton. Buster Keaton is famous for his great film career, becoming one of the most well-known actors and comedians from the 1920s onwards, particularly famous for his straight-faced comedy and his early silent movies. Less well known is the fact that he was also a capable ukulele player and in more than one of his early silent films he can be seen but not heard playing the ukulele. In the 1930s film Doughboys he plays a scene with fellow actor Cliff Edwards also known as Ukulele Ike and a great ukulele performer himself in which the two of them play a song on the ukulele together with Keaton playing the frets and Edwards drumming the strings with two wooden drumsticks to make the sound. It's a wonderfully creative musical moment and shows off the wide skill set of both of these actors. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care. This week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia is all about Taimane Gardner. Anyone wanting to enjoy a spectacular contemporary ukulele performer could do a lot worse than to look up the compositions and performances of Taimane Gardner. 
Born in Hawaii in 1989, she was discovered by the talented musician Don Ho, who himself had studied under ukulele legend Jake Shimabukuro. Since 2005, she has released a number of albums and has been listed as among the world's top 10 ukulele players. In 2014, she did a TED talk that showed off her virtuoso playing at its highest level. More recently, in 2020, she released on her YouTube channel a rendition of the prelude to Bach's Cello Suite No. 1, which is a beautiful example of musical crossover between old and new. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoyed them. Do take care.